Sneezing and itchy, watery eyes signal the arrival of fall for many in East Tennessee. Children with allergies and asthma get a double whammy this time of year. Joining us now with more from Children's Hospital is Dr. Katie Stordahl. Always good to see you. Thank you. Big question we always want to know, how do we distinguish between allergies and the common cold? It can be tough at the beginning. Yeah. One of the things that I always tell parents to look for once a child is two and over is, mm -hmm. do you notice that every season or change of seasons at the same time of the year that a child has a runny nose? Because okay. if that's a trend, it probably indicates that that child has developed allergies. Mm -hmm. Another big indication that you would be looking for is fever. If it's a fever, of course, it's not an allergy. There's right. something infectious going on. But otherwise, they can be very similar at this time of the year. All right, let's talk about allergies. What what are some mm -hmm. signs and symptoms then other than what we've just talked about? Sure, the runny nose, post nasal drip which causes kids to sometimes mm -hmm. have a wet cough, sometimes have a dry cough. Children will get what are called allergic shiners where they'll get dark circles under their eyes. Which allergic is unusual. shiners? Yes. I've never heard that term um, but I've seen it in my own children. Yes, you, it's very obvious because kids don't get dark circles under their eyes like adults do. Yeah. So that can indicate allergies. Some kids actually get white creases on their nose where they rub their noses so often that can be a big clue to parents. Hey, they're rubbing their nose for a long period mm -hmm. of time. That's not a cold. That's an allergy. And then, of course, sore throat can go with that. And itchy and watery eyes can go with that as well. Oh, they're just so miserable. And you want to fix it right away. And that's very difficult to do. Here's be. something, too. Can allergies cause asthma? They're not a direct cause, but they can be linked. Okay. So they're linked genetically. And for children who already have asthma, if they have an allergy to something, the allergy can then induce them to start wheezing. Oh. So it's very important that in a child who has asthma that their allergies are at, at least trying to stay controlled mm -hmm. with appropriate medicines. And there are some other things we can do around the house to make mm -hmm. them more comfortable too, right? There are, absolutely. When children are outside and they're playing, they're getting lots of pollen, ragweed, mold mm -hmm. at this time of year. So when they come inside, washing their clothes right away, leaving their shoes outside because you get so much on the soles of their shoes. Sure washing their hands before they eat and drink or touch their face and then of course a daily bath if they've been outside playing that can help to reduce all of those allergens and mm -hmm. pollens that are on them so that their allergies don't act up as much just get them out of there mm -hmm. all right thank you so much thank you